Paul's greatest thorn in the flesh, I think, even though it may not have been anything more than myopia or some kind of ophthalmological problem, were the Judaizers. They were his implacable enemies. They were after him and his gospel, saying it wasn't complete. They were Jewish Christians, the Judaizers were, who emphasized Judaism and Christianity uh, over Christianity itself. You know, unless Gentiles coming into the faith had completely fulfilled the law of Moses, uh, they could not become Christians, said the Judaizers. Paul and Barnabas, however, in the first mission journey, had Gentiles coming directly into the church. And so they were sure the Judaizers were wrong. But when they got back after the first mission journeys, a big row broke out in the church in Antioch where the disciples were first called Christians. And the Judaizers said, unless these Gentiles are converted to Judaism first, they cannot be saved, they cannot become Christians. And Paul and Barnabas had welcomed Gentiles directly into the church. I always thought that was kind of a wonder too, because here are the Gentiles, uh, you would think the Jews, already monotheists, would have no trouble coming into Christianity. But it was the Gentile polytheists turning away from paganism who were coming in more readily into the Christian faith than Jews. It shows, I think, the disgust they had. Any intelligent person can't worship a variety of gods. There's only one God. The, uh, there can be only one supreme. And yet they were coming in and they were accepting the gospel freely. Well, the Judaizers said they're preaching a false gospel. So they decided to go to church headquarters in Jerusalem.